And now, HBO Sports presents Pacquiao Hatton 24-7. Presentation of HBO Sports. Last week on Pacquiao Hatton 24 7. At the Wild Card Gym in Hollywood, stars converge for an up close view of Manny Pacquiao at work. Sweat and intensity. The fact that, you know, anybody can come in here and everybody's the same, you know, everybody gets treated the same. I suppose, well, except for when the chance is. In Las Vegas, the pace remained comfortably brisk for Ricky Hatton under the guidance of Floyd Mayweather. I think I come into training camp in a lot of better shape than, than what I, I normally do. And I think a lot of it's down to what Floyd has told me and that I'm a little bit more settled in my, my personal life. Have you seen his bum? <laughs> Meanwhile, Freddie Roach and Michael Moore settled in for film night and a study of the opponent's patterns in the ring. He may be using his jab a little bit more of that. And we know what the jab is going to do. The jab is going to try to blind them where he can jump in with the hook after. The confidence of their counterpart, however, did not appear likely to be phased. Freddie the joke, Coach Roach got a mute. This right here, this is the Italian I stay. They ain't going to be able to stand up for that. Vegas, Floyd Mayweather Sr. is having a party, inviting Ricky Hatton and his entourage over for a bit of bonding and a late afternoon feast. I think I found myself a new drink though, the Kool-Aid. Mm. Nice. The food and drink go down easy, while the host's confidence is characteristically high, with the fight less than two weeks away. Rose talking about he didn't train Pac to get better. I don't know where the hell he trained him to get better at. The man throws his hands straight forward like an amateur. Uh, you're going to find out that speed ain't really what y'all think it is. It's the way you use it. And everything is about timing anyway. And you're going to find out his timing ain't going to be there like you think it's going to be. You can't just throw punches like that and think you're going to hit something. You know, you, you can hit another amateur like that. You can hit no pro like that. After the meal, the obligatory house tour, which in this abode, begins in the closet. Floyd's a, a real character. The clothing he, he wears is, well, I'm sure he won't mind me for saying he's absolutely ridiculous in my opinion. I think, I think, I think Ricky, I think Ricky got a good idea what's going on and what's happening. Hey, turn Floyd, turn your suits down, I can't hear the phone. <laughs> Wait a minute. Behind them on the wall, however, the trainer's artistic talent inspires a different reaction. You do this for it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Really good, isn't it? Yeah. It's very good. Very good. Very good, that for Can I? Yeah. Very good, isn't it? Yeah. He's a man of many, uh, many talents, you know, and you need people like that in boxing. I'm sure a lot of people will say, oh, look, he's a little bit too cocky, he's a little bit too arrogant, but, you know, he's very good at what he does, whether it be the poetry, whether it be his, his artwork, whether it be his training. And to be honest, boxing would be a very, very dull place if you didn't have characters in, in boxing, you know, like Floyd, you know, so uh, long live Floyd Joy Mayweather. Last week on Pacquiao Hatton 
The day's festivities conclude with the screening of the latest episode of a familiar program. This right here, this the real, real racehorse right here. <laughs> he got a mule. <laughs> If Mayweather's playful boasting is amusing, a glimpse of the opponent is emboldening. Same move every time. From Fred Roach? Yeah. Same move. That's what I was, just, that's what I was trying to tell you. Right hook, roll under. Right hook, roll under. Right hook, spin off. Yeah. Drop my button. Just give him something to spin off onto. Satan, your kingdom must come down. Satan, your kingdom must come down. You've been feeding your kingdom all over this land. Satan, your kingdom must come down. To know.